Another show of force was caught by a security camera. Yusuf Bey IV and some of his followers were charged with trashing a neighborhood liquor store. Bey, who's pleaded not guilty, said the action was taken because alcohol is against Islamic law. After taking over the bakery, Yusuf Bey IV went on a crime spree. He was arrested in three Oakland area counties on five different felony charges. When we saw a, a huge criminal or some of the criminal enterprise starting to develop with the change in leadership, uh, when Yusuf Bey took over. At the time reporter Chauncey Bailey was killed, Yusuf Bey IV was free on bail on all charges. Do you think Chauncey Bailey understood the risk? I believe that he thought it was more of a risk to myself than to himself. I don't believe that he really felt that he was in danger. The danger was very real. While working on his story about the bakery, Bailey was ambushed as he walked to his office at the Post. Witnesses told police a young black man wearing a ski mask pointed a shotgun at Bailey and calmly fired three times at point blank range. The shooter got into a white van idling nearby and sped off. A day later, more than 200 heavily armed police raided the bakery to arrest Yusuf Bey IV and others on kidnapping and torture charges that had nothing to do with the Bailey murder. And they also arrested this man, Devondre Broussard, for killing Chauncey Bailey. Broussard was a 20-year-old janitor at the bakery who'd converted to Islam after serving time for assault in San Francisco. When we met him in county jail, Broussard told us what he first told police. He didn't do it. I never heard about Chauncey Bailey. I never met him. I never seen him. The first time I heard about Mr. Chauncey Bailey was that night I got arrested. While under arrest, Broussard continued his denials. And that's when police took an unorthodox step. They put Broussard in an interrogation room alone with his boss and spiritual leader, Yusuf Bey IV. He was saying, like, you gotta help us out. You gotta take this fall. He was saying, like, I'm your commanding officer, you gotta follow my orders. To convince him to take the fall, Broussard says Yusuf Bey IV played on his Muslim beliefs. He was telling me how, how he was being tested by God. He said that God was testing you. Yes, he did. He was saying that uh, you got to prove your loyalty or whatnot. By, by saying you killed Chauncey Bailey, that was proving yourself to God. He was saying that most times people don't realize when they're being tested by God. I'm helping you out. I'm telling you that you're being tested by God. But I mean, this is a guy you trusted. I just say, the people you love is the one that's going to hurt you the fastest. Immediately after that conversation, Devondre Broussard confessed telling police he was a good soldier who killed reporter Chauncey Bailey to protect the bakery. Did Broussard change his story because of what Yusuf Bey IV said to him? Police don't know, because they didn't listen in to that conversation or even record it. Mr. Broussard is saying that Yusuf Bey IV told him, you know, be a good soldier, stand up, you take the fall. Do you buy that? No. I don't know what was said, but I don't, I don't think that it, it's really relevant as far as what was said in that, in that room. You don't think what was said in that room really matters? No, and, and it's, it's, it doesn't matter to us in terms of um, the end product. But shouldn't someone have tape recorded them, or at least listened in on what they were saying? In a, in a perfect world, yes. That, that, that should, have, should have taken place, but it didn't. The lead investigator in the case, Sergeant Derwin Longmire, was the officer who decided to put Broussard and Bay the Fourth together. But in another strange twist, it turns out that Sergeant Longmire had been close to Yusuf Bay the Fourth and the bakery for years. Broussard realized just how close when he heard them talking at the police station. Here's his account of what went on. They were getting along like they really knew each other. The table here was saying, like, you can't let Yusuf Bay the Fourth go down. He's he doing good in the community. He's helping out black people. Police said that to me. Police officer said that to me. Chief Jordan does confirm that police knew all about Sergeant Longmire's long-time relationship with Bay the Fourth and other bakery leaders. I don't have any problems with Sergeant Longmire's relationship with members of the bakery. Uh, I trust his integrity. Uh, I trust his credibility. It's truly really something that that's going to be brought up during the trial. The fact that the lead investigator on the case turns out to be friends with, with Lisa Bay the Fourth. It's unusual to say the least. It's unusual, but not unethical. Today, Devondre Broussard insists he's not guilty and claims he knows who the real killer is. You say you did not kill Chauncey Bailey. No, I did not. Do you know who did? I'm going to get all that information up when I go to trial. You don't want to say now. I'm going to go to trial.
Yusuf Bey IV, who was in jail on multiple unrelated felony charges, declined our request for an interview, but he has denied any part in the Bailey murder. If anyone had a reason to be concerned about Johnson Bailey writing something negative about the bakery, it would seem to be the guy who was leading the bakery. Correct. Um, that, that, that is a motive that you know, we need to explore. Police say the case is still open. But more than six months after reporter Chauncey Bailey's murder, Devondre Broussard remains the only one charged in the crime. Does it make sense that a low-level employee of this bakery, Devondre Broussard, would come up with this plan and, and execute it all by himself? It doesn't seem um, right. It seems highly unusual, but I don't know this young man. I don't know what he believes in. It, it, so it, it's possible he was following orders from somebody else. So that's very possible. Yes. 60 Minutes. We're always...